Hi guys, welcome to another training session at the University of Victoria, Wing Chun. Today we're going to talk about zone, about different fighting zones, what happens, what's Wing Chun good for, what actually happens in the street. There are four different type of stages for actual combat. Let's say uh, if you're in here, Wing Chun, we're usually very good in here, sticky hand, close range, bum, 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 bum. we call this your trapping zone. You're in here, your arms are trapped. I can do a lot of trapping drill, a lot of the Wing Chun drills are very good. The next stage of the fight is your punching range, which you're in here. It's kind of like an MMA unboxing. As a lot of this happens. When you guys get to this stage, Wing Chun, you know how we're always here, we're waiting for something. You, for actual street combat, you can't afford that to just be solid like this. You're gonna have to move around a little bit. Boxing mentality, you're gonna be light on your feet, like a bee, go in, come out. I'm gonna have to be flexible with this guy. I can't just stand in here and think every time he's coming in, I wanna do a Donnie Yan move. That's a move, you guys. That's only applicable if you're close from here. I can do a lot of stuff without any body move. I'm rooted down really nicely. My arms do most of the job for me. But once I come, this range is completely different because that guy is gonna be throwing different kind of punches. I can't just stand there and block it. After this range, we have another one is once the opponent is a little bit further. This is when kick happens, okay? That's when weapons are extremely important. All the drills we do for the weapons and everything for the sake of argue. Traditional weapons which we have, which we train, they're very good. I do the form, I train it myself, I'm never gonna use it. I don't like that kind of old mentality myself, but it's part of the drill, drill we gotta use it. But the good thing about this is it teaches how you step in. As older as whether I'm practicing from here, I'm going here, from here, I'm coming back. Even if I don't have this, all I'm doing, look, it teaches my uh, stepping. It's very good once you're far away, further away from your opponent, because this is when kick happens. He wants to kick me, front kick, let's say, whatever. If I'm not ready, look, it teaches my body how to move. It comes from weapon, or vice versa. He wants to kick me, I mean, I'm just going in. Whichever way, it's your cup of tea. They're both good, whether you want to stand there, you want to go in, going in is always better for you. So it's extremely well. The last stage of the fight is, you can run away, it's the best one. Because you're in here, why do you want to start something? He wants to do anything, I can just get away. Those are the four different stages. Wing Chun, 80% of the training, you're in here. Practice this because that's what the real shit street happens. The people usually, they argue with you in a street fight. They come in here, they talk him in, they push you. Oh yeah, man, come on like this. They don't want to fight. A real good fight, it's over less than five seconds. They come to your face and wham, something goes on. Practice everything in this trapping zone. My only advice is, Every time we do the drill, this chi sa, which every club does it, is the basis of all Wing Chun, it's extremely well. Don't just think, I've seen even some of my students, we roll three, 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 then we hit. We roll one, two, three, then we hit. That's not a good habit because you're just thinking about a drill. Instead of just keeping, my hands could be anywhere from here. I just want to see my opponents from here. I don't have to hit him every time. Okay, so I don't have to go three times. Stay in this trapping zone. Put a lot of your drills in this position. Have a good foundation. Be nice and fluid. We say soft, we don't mean spaghetti hands. If his hands are really limp, I mean, I can hit him with his own hands. So have a good foundation. Put most of your training in this trapping zone. It's extremely effective for Wing Chun. Just a word of advice. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye.